welcome to the Hobart Commuter. So, does the world or the internet really need another guy on a bike talking them through his ride? Almost certainly not. But Hobart doesn't have one. And Hobart's an interesting city at the moment. In the last few years, it's really, really expanded. It's led to a lot of traffic congestion, which you can kind of see in front of you here. Just catch up to it. It's actually not too bad today. We're coming down Macquarie Street here. It's running pretty well. But basically, the traffic's gotten really bad in the last, say, 12 to 18 months. Rarely a week goes by where there isn't something in the papers about how bad it is. So people are looking for alternative means of transport now. And parking is just a nightmare. So biking uh, in Hobart is really starting to take off. So I want to talk about what it's like to ride in Hobart. And, um, yeah, what the experience is like and what the infrastructure is like. Now, the other thing is, um, is also the university, too. So the University of Tasmania has its main campus in a suburb called Sandy Bay, which sits about three to four kilometres outside of the city. Now, I don't know what that is in miles, um, but it's not really not that far, but it's far enough to dissuade a lot of people from actually going to university. Believe it or not, a lot, a lot of locals here, they don't see it as part of the, uh, part of the city. Um, it's, it's a little bit more um, exclusive, if you like. Sandy Bay is one of the exclusive suburbs in Hobart. So the VC at the moment has this plan to bring the campus into the city. Now, it's, um, he wants to generally make it a university town. Now you might say, well, university town, that's, that's not what a university town is. University town is a town that builds up around a university. Well, actually it's not. A university town is defined by the impact of the university on the town. So if it becomes a major contributing factor, so if, if most people are working at the university, if it's having a big social and economic impact, save the reef, yeah, I can't ring, um, I've only got a bell. Um, so if, for example, if businesses are making a lot of money from the university, if a lot of people are working there, which they are, the university is one of the biggest employers in the state, and if the students are coming to um, proliferate in the, uh, in the town, which is essentially called the studentification, I'll say that again, the studentification of a city. So it's basically like the gentrification, if you like, except something becomes filled with students, not money or wealth. So all this, what this means is you're going to have a bunch of students who will be looking for cheap ways to move around the city. And any university city is defined in part by this sort of field of new urbanism. And it's the ability of people to move around a city um, freely and easily. Now, whether or not Hobart is conducive to that, I would say not really at the moment. There's a lot that needs to be done. And I want to kind of explore that uh, just over this kind of video project, which will probably have a shelf life, to be honest. I'm thinking about a year, I'll try and do a few of these videos across the year. I'm um, just giving an experience of what it's like and see if anything changes. The, the council is trying to work with, um, I'll just take a left here actually. Oh, sweet, I've got a lane. So the council's trying to work with, with the university to, um, to basically change the infrastructure of the city. Um, to make it more bike friendly. But really, this, this city was designed for cars. There is absolutely no question about that. And all the infrastructure, you can see a bit of infrastructure here. It's like a little bit of green zone, safe zone. Um, now that's designed, you know, you get the green zone, but then you've got to get back into the traffic straight away. Um, oh, that was almost a potential door there. Cheers, Chief. So, um, yeah, it runs out. So there's, it's pretty limited in the sense that 
they're, they're, they're a little bit token, tokenistic at the moment, the bike lanes, but there, there are steps being made. So, yeah, look, if you're interested, um, if you've stuck around this long, I'm gonna look at, um, I'm gonna look at the structure. Now, what do I wanna do here? Do I wanna go straight or, I don't know. So, I'm gonna look at some of the ways in which the university is moving into the city. Um, unfortunately, it was, a, it was the federal budget last night, big budget. Big, big, big day yesterday, Tuesday federal budget. The banks got hit very hard. Um, there's a lot of populism in Australia right now and the <laughs> banks are bearing the brunt of it. Um, but one of the major projects that was scheduled in the infrastructure um, kind of a national initiative was the STEM project, which is the science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Now they want to move, they want to move those disciplines um, or the locality of those disciplines into I should probably turn here. Geez, that was lazy. Now, they want to move them into, um, into the city. And I'll show you where that's going to happen too. All right, and we're back. So uh, we're coming into North Hobart here. I have actually done a bit of a roundabout way to get here. Anyone who's cycled in Hobart will think, what the hell is this guy doing? It's kind of the scenic route, I guess. Um, I'm going to get around the back of North Hobart here, so I could sort of get off my bike and just just walk it, but I'm going to try and ride to my destination, full-heartedly or otherwise. So we've got a tricky roundabout coming out the top here. Now the reason why it's tricky for a cyclist is because it's basically uphill as you approach the roundabout, so you're not going to have too much pace coming up to it. So what I've got to do is merge with traffic. It's going quite a bit faster than me. Which in this case shouldn't be a problem. Just get across. Try our best to maintain something at a reasonable speed. Give the old hand signal. Come out wide. Good, good. Got a major tail. Bit unhappy. And then we'll come in here. All right, so that concludes episode one. Um, promise there'll be a little bit more to, uh, a little bit more entertainment to come. I suspect there'll be a few close calls, during which I will do my very best to control my temper, which I've gotten better at, admittedly, over the past few weeks. Um, yeah. Till next time. See you then.